So the fiber optic interior kit caught a lot of attention at this year's SEMA show. And we thought what better way to showcase this than on this 2021 Ford Bronco. As you can see here, this fiber optic cable can outline virtually any interior panel in the car, giving a cool custom look and pop of color. Today we're going to take you through step by step how we did the install on this 2021 Ford Bronco. It's very straightforward, let's get into it now. Alright, so first we're going to remove the side handle. That's going to be with these four T30s. Now that we've removed those, we can just unclip this. Next, we're going to drop the glove box. There's a clip on each side of the glove box here. We're going to push those in. We're going to pull that down. Just go ahead and let that hang there. All right, so we've measured out a seven and a half foot piece of our cable for the bottom. Uh, what we're going to do to make this fit nicely is we're going to cut this fin down to half its size. We're going to use some sharp scissors for that. All right, so now that we have that fin trimmed down, we're gonna go ahead and lay this across. We're gonna make sure that we have about this much excess on one side. That's gonna allow us to tuck the cable behind the glove box and connect our light head. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start tucking this in. And since we trimmed that fin down, it's gonna allow us to tuck this in between this panel very, very nicely and quickly. And if we need to, in some spots, we can help it along with the panel tool. So we took the end of our cable and we ran it underneath the clamshell and then we tucked it under the panel. We're gonna take our knife. We're gonna make a small notch where this cable meets the corner here. We're gonna go ahead and cut a little notch here. That just gives us a little more flexibility with the strip. And this one, we're just gonna go ahead and start tucking in. We cut a nine foot piece. Make sure that we have the same distance of cable on the edges just to meet our other side. This one's gonna be higher. So one thing I wanna point out is that there is a slightly larger gap where the screen is. You wanna make sure that you have enough tension on the cable where it does fit snug here. And that's gonna keep this from sagging or being pushed too far up. So now we're just gonna continue around the instrument cluster. Just gonna get that tucked in here. Make sure we deal with this bend. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and tuck this cable down behind the dash. We're gonna go ahead and put our handle back on. T30's back in. All right, so we need to tuck our cables back behind the dash. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and tuck this cable down behind the dash. Then we're gonna get our handle back in on this side. All right, now we can move on to the wiring. All right, so we're gonna prep our cables to be connected to the light heads. We just need to take our blade and we need to trim our fin off just a little bit. This is gonna allow us to insert the end of the piping into the light head. We're gonna loosen the set screw on one of our light heads. We're gonna insert and then tighten our set screw back down. Not really a need to over tighten this. As you can see, it's very secure. So our controller is gonna be installed on the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave these cables bundled up. 
we're not really gonna need those to be extended. All right, let's move over to the passenger side and get our light heads connected. So we're gonna unbundle this cable and we're gonna route both of these cables across the dash to the driver's side where we're gonna connect to our control unit. All right, so as you can see, we have a wire loom right here. We're gonna go ahead and use this to zip tie and secure our light heads in the place so they're not banging around or they're not interfering with the glove box on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and get a zip tie here. That'll hold these in place. All right, now with the light heads secure, we're gonna go ahead and route these cables over to the driver's side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unsnap this panel. We're gonna get this out of the way here for just a moment. Now we're gonna drop our cable down through here. We're gonna pass our cables down through the dash. So we're gonna go ahead and pull all the slack out of the cables. We're gonna lift up this panel, tuck this over the side and right through. Snap that panel back into place. All right, so we're gonna bundle up our excess cable. We've secured our light heads to the harness here. Now we're gonna plug in our four cables to our Bluetooth controller making sure to line the arrowed keyways up. That'll ensure that these work properly. The kit comes with this easy wiring adapter. There's a cigar socket here with an on-off switch. We're gonna hardwire this today, so we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna strip back some of this cabling. That'll expose the red and black wire. We're gonna use these wires to hardwire. All right, so what we have here is an Adafuse connector. You can get these on Amazon for pretty cheap. You can also get these at your local hardware store. We're gonna crimp our red wire to the Adafuse connector. All right, so we're gonna grab this five amp fuse. We're gonna plug it in to our slot. Now we're gonna take our add a fuse connector and we're gonna plug it back in where we just pulled that five amp fuse. And now we're gonna remove this seven millimeter bolt. We're gonna put our seven millimeter bolt back in. And now we've got a good factory ground here. So now we're gonna connect the adapter to our Bluetooth controller. And now we should be able to test the lights. All right, now that we've got everything connected, we're gonna go ahead and just get this all zip tied up. So we're gonna tuck our cables in. We're gonna go ahead and zip tie our controller right here to this wire harness. All right, now we're just gonna flip this back up into place and that's it.